My name is Min Seok Pang and I'm an associate professor at Box World Business, Temple University. In this video, I'd like to introduce a recent publication at Strategic Management Journal in February 2020 issue titled, When Your Problem Becomes My Problem, The Impact of Airline IT Disruptions on On-Time Performance of Competing Airlines. This is a joint work with Dr. Jennifer Tay at Temple University and Dr. Brett Grunud at George Mason University. If you are a frequent flyer, you know that your flights are often delayed for many reasons such as weather, traffic congestion, or aircraft problems. But there is another cause for a flight disruption that has become increasingly frequent in recent years, which is disruption by IT failures. For example, in August 2016, the entire IT systems of Delta Airlines experienced a complete meltdown for more than two days. And, and as, as you can imagine, it caused a pile of mayhem over many airports across the nation. A similar large-scale IT outage also brought down Southwest Airlines in July 2016 for two days. So these major IT breakdowns have significantly jeopardized flyer operations of Delta and Southwest, but you might wonder what happened to their competitors such as United and JetBlue. In this study, we investigated the impact of these large-scale IT failures on flight on-time performance of competing airlines at the hub airports. Since the airlines share common resources such as airports and their operational routines are closely interconnected to each other, there is a reason to believe that large-scale disruption to one firm has a spillover effect on the operations of others. The question is, in which direction? Will the direction to one firm help or hurt its competitors? We analyzed flight on-time performance or flight delays of non-disruptive competitors during the four major IT disruptions, Alaska Airlines in March 2011, American Airlines in July 13, Southwest Airlines in 2016, and Delta Airlines in 2016. We focus on on-time performance of competitors at the hub airports of the disruptive airlines such as Atlanta, a Delta hub airport, and Baltimore, a Southwest hub, or Dallas Fort Worth, an American Airlines hub airport. So here's what we found. When the full service legacy carriers such as Delta, American, or Alaska were disrupted by IT failures, the on-time performance of the competitors at their hubs was deteriorated by as much as 6 minutes. But when a low-cost carrier, Southwest, was disrupted by IT glitches, the competitor's on-time performance has actually improved by as much as 5 minutes. What's more interesting is that this spillover effect is different between full-service competitors and low-cost competitors. We found that when an IT disruption occurred, the full-service competitors such as United are suffered by negative spillovers more than the low-cost competitors such as JetBlue and Spirit Airlines. So what does all this mean? Some managers might think that when a competitor experiences a disruption, it would benefit their own firms or at least its effect would be localized at the disrupted competitors. Our study shows, however, that this is not always the case because in many industries, firms' daily operations are interdependent to each other over shared resources. Our work suggests that firms with fast plans to disruption take into consideration the internet organizational dependency with the suppliers, competitors, or other partners, and potential negative spillover effects from their disruptions. Thank you for watching this video.